Hi guys, today we are talking about nude. Nude lipstick, nude lip gloss, nude lip pencil, all about nude. I love nude and I also love pink. So nude and pink I have a lot of and that's why I'm going to be talking about these today. I decided I'm not going to be doing lip swatches on all of them because they're all just going to really look the same on camera, to be honest. I'll swatch them on my hand for you so you can get an idea of how they might be a little bit different. We're going to get through the lipsticks first. And I'll start off with what I'm wearing right now, which is my newest nude lipstick. And this is the Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in Nude Delight. This is a shade that they had previously, but they revamped all of their lipsticks. I believe it's a new formula. It is a peachy nude, and I love peachy nudes. These are really great because, like the name suggests, it is a Moisture Renew lipstick. It does stay pretty moisturizing on your lips. It doesn't make my lips look dry or patchy, which is what my lips tend to do because they're just really, really dry. I have super oily skin and really dry lips. The next one is a L'Oreal lipstick in Ferris Nude. This is a cult favorite. I love the shade, but... I don't like the scent. This is more of a pinky nude. And you gotta keep in mind with lipsticks, especially nudes, that it's going to look different depending on your skin tone. So it may look really brown, but it may look like a pink on you. So it really depends. If you don't care about smells, it doesn't bother you at all, then go for it. It's a really pretty lipstick and it's a really popular shade for a reason. The next one is Maybelline's Nude Lust, which is a part of their The Buffs collection. This one is a very neutral nude. So I would say so far that the Rimmel one is the peachy nude, the L'Oreal lipstick is a pinky nude, and the Maybelline Nude Lust is a very neutral nude for my skin tone. I love Maybelline Color Sensational Lipsticks. They're probably one of the best formulas out there. This is a Milani lipstick, a color statement lipstick in nude cream or nude creme. So you can see right here, it is very, very pigmented. I don't know how to describe this for my skin tone, but it's a very intense peachy nude, I would say. The formula of the Color Statement Lipsticks from Milani is amazing. The next one is a Wet n Wild lipstick in Bare It All. This one I've mentioned in my MAC Dupes video that it's very similar to Velvet Teddy by MAC Cosmetics. Even though it's a brownie nude, I still think that it looks good on me and it looks good on a lot of people. Wet n Wild lipsticks are some of the cheapest out there, but they have a great formula. They're not really scented, and they do not dry out my lips, even though they have a semi-matte finish. So that's what they look like so far. They're all so different that I have to have all of these, but to someone who doesn't understand, they're like, they all look the same. And I'm like, mm-mm, no they don't. I mentioned this one in my Maybelline Creamy Mattes video, and it is daringly nude. It is a matte, but because it's creamy, it just glides on the lips. It's a peachy nude, but of all of these, it kind of looks like Bare It All, except if Bare It All had a little bit more peach in it, then that's what Daringly Nude would be. The last lipstick is a MAC Cosmetics lipstick in Blankety. If you have seen my MAC Dupes video fall edition, then you will know that Blankety is very similar to Maybelline's Nude Lust that I just mentioned. If you don't want to spend the $15 on this, just get the Nude Lust. Blankety is one of my favorite nude lipsticks of all time. It is, again, a very neutral nude, and that's exactly how I like it. It's an amplified cream, so it is very pigmented, but also creamy, and I think it's just one of the best MAC lipsticks that I've ever purchased. Now we're gonna get into the glosses. So this is a Whitening Lightning or Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss in nude. Simple as that. It's a Color Your Smile lighted lip gloss, and these have been talked about so much on YouTube, and I finally tried them out a few months ago and I ended up loving them and I'm like, okay, it's justified. The reason why everyone's talking about them is because it's actually an awesome lip gloss. And this does have that light that you may have seen people talk about and a mirror. And you just use the mirror and the light to like this, especially when you're out clubbing. This is really pigmented so you can use it on its own or on top of lipstick and it lasts for a pretty long time. It's not that sticky, but it has just that right amount of consistency or right amount of stickiness where it keeps the color on for a long time. It's a bit of a brownie nude, so I will swatch it here. It's right up here, and it's one of my favorite nude glosses. One of my favorite lip glosses of all time happens to be a nude gloss, and this is from Revlon. It's a super lustrous lip gloss in Supernatural. I'm running out of hand space here. I'll put it right next to the Whitening Lightning Gloss and show you the difference. And this is more of a pinky nude, 
and the Whitening Lightning Nude is a brownie nude. Can't really see it. I will show you an up close look. It's a little bit more of a pink and then down here Whitening Lightning is a little bit more brown. Next Butter Gloss is going to be mentioned because I've been loving them lately and this is in Creme Brulee. This is great to wear on its own or to wear on top of something. This one smells kind of like cake batter or cookie dough or whatever. I don't know. Just smells good. Supernatural is just more of a sheer version of Creme Brulee. That is probably why I like it so much. And the last product we are talking about is a lip liner. And if you follow me on Instagram, you may already know that I have been big on lip liners in this last month or the last couple weeks. And this is a Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in Innocent. Rimmel makes my favorite lip liners, which is so awesome because they're really inexpensive. And Innocent is a really good nude pencil. I have no room on my hand. And it's the perfect neutral nude lip liner. So if you want one good nude lip liner, then this is the one to go to. So it's again, the Rimmel Lip Liner in Innocent. I've never been a big fan of lip liner, but recently there's this trend with matte lipsticks and just wearing lip liner alone. I tried it out and I'm like, you know what? This is awesome because the lip color lasts a long time. And I think Rimmel is the perfect way to go because if you are not big into lip liners, like I'm not big on it either, might as well get something that's inexpensive but also good and that is Rimmel. Let me know, oh, I hate when I touch my swatches. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my hands. So let me know in the comments what some of your favorite lip products are from the drugstore or high-end when it comes to nude lip color. I would love to know. And if you have one that you love that was mentioned in this video, let me know too, because I love it when we have the same favorites. And I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you all again really soon. I messed that up. Let's try this one more time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you all again really soon. Bye.